A quick and very powerful magic trick that can really rewire your subconscious mind and your ability to be effective working towards your goals is setting a new intention. See, oftentimes we go after something because there's a lot of desire. For example, maybe you wanna make more money so you can experience freedom and you wanna have freedom so you can just do whatever you want and be your own boss. And although that's an intention, it's not a great one. It's a decent one and it's enough to maybe get you going. It's not often enough to sustain you and keep you going. It's not a deep why. If your intention in a relationship is to make yourself feel good and get validation from the other person, it's unlikely that that relationship is going to be a high quality one you will likely grow codependent and you will either fall apart or have toxicity. Either way, it's not really a winning situation for either party. So change your intention. What are you in that relationship for? What could you be in it for? Why are you chasing this purpose and passion of yours? Is it just so you can get the freedom and the money? You see, I made videos every single day for a year because I wanted to improve my character because I knew that I wanted to grow. And when I started that journey over five years ago, it changed my life. You know, it immediately transformed how I viewed the world, how I viewed myself, how I showed up, how I carried myself, how much I cared about others. Everything shifted and I went on a crazy trajectory. Considering I was suicidal when I was younger, the fact that I now help people all over the world and change lives is kind of crazy. I almost ended up not even living myself. That shift came from a powerful intention of wanting to serve and help people. And of course, through that journey, I had to overcome my own trauma, my own limiting beliefs, and the things that were holding me back. So how about you ask yourself what a greater intention could be for you? Could you build your business because it will make you improve as a person. You'll deliver value into the marketplace, impact people and businesses and lives, and that will lead to good change in the world. That's a lot brighter and more powerful than, well, I just, I wanna make a little more money. I'm just not making enough, I need a little more. So you can make a lot more, but if that's your only intention, you're probably gonna get trapped anyway. So many times I've seen people say, I'm gonna go do this thing. This is the thing that I'm going to do. And they're super excited and they're all jacked up. And then they try it and they don't like the process. They don't fall in love with the process because they're too busy in their mind thinking about the outcome. And I talk about this so often and there's a reason why. It's because people are outcome obsessed and they don't really pay attention to what you need to do to get the outcome. And so instead of falling in love with the process of building a business, having a relationship that's really high quality, very powerful, it becomes just a downward spiral of judging yourself when you don't do the work and you don't do the work because you don't have real inspiration and you don't even necessarily just need inspiration. You need a strong foundation to really stand on so that you can execute and do the necessary work, put in the time. Anything worthwhile requires effort and we give more effort when we're engaged, when we're focused, and we're more engaged and focused when we have a reason to be. So if you're wondering why you're not getting results and you're thinking, how do I get my subconscious mind to play on my team? How do I get you know, my entire body in alignment? It's pretty easy. You just have to ask yourself what a quality intention would be. Maybe it's to change the world. Maybe it's to improve yourself and grow as a character so you can be more valuable, not just to yourself, but also to other people. Maybe it's to help your family or loved ones. Maybe it's for a friend. It's very powerful when you operate this way. You see, most people don't have this at all. They're just doing it for themselves so they can go buy a fancy apartment or a mansion or a new car. That won't do it for you. Trust me, I used to try to motivate myself. I was like, I'm gonna buy a Porsche. Then I got the money for the Porsche and I realized I don't even want the Porsche. I didn't care about it. It wasn't the Porsche that was important. It was having something to work towards. So the Porsche wasn't very good as a motivator either. It slowed me down. In fact, if anything, 
and I didn't work as much as I would have if my intention was to impact more people, change a life, really, really transform something in the world, do something meaningful that I was passionate about, grow myself as a person. And that's what it shifted to. And then the results became a lot more powerful. See, I remember why I was stuck for so long. It's because everything was about me getting something. Because if I get the thing, then I'll be happy. But of course you get the thing and you're still not happy. And once you go through that cycle a couple of times, you should realize, hey, the thing is a bad intention. You as a person is a great intention. Other people, great intention. It's really all that matters. You know, taking care of other people, taking care of yourself, making your life better, making other people, people's lives better, right? It's simple. Being happy is simple. Being fulfilled is simple. Being productive and effective is simple. Line your subconscious up by making it simple. Set a clear intention today. Maybe drop it in the comments below. What's your intention? Your new intention? Why are you doing what you're doing? Are you studying to make your parents proud and make them happy? Or are you doing it because you really want to be a professional? You want to make an impact in the world in that field? You love it. You're passionate about it. That's a whole different story. Change to a story that empowers you, that supports you, that gets you closer to what you want just by changing the intention itself already.